Authorities were searching for this suspect in Granite Falls earlier this month, and he fled from them on foot. They didn't find him at the time. This past Thursday, U.S. Marshals turned 34-year-old Jonathan Robert Pearson of Mull Street in Morganton over to Burke County authorities. As WHKY previously reported, Pearson was being sought on charges of parole violation and assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill inflicting serious injury. On October 5th, marshals arrived at a residence in Granite Falls and Pearson fled into a wooded area behind the residence. Granite Falls police assisted in the search for Pearson, who was not found at that time. Published reports say U.S. Marshals took Pearson into custody last week. He was transferred to the custody of the Burke County Sheriff's Office Thursday evening. Pearson was charged Thursday with felony counts of assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill, inflicting serious injury and first degree burglary. According to published reports, the Burke County Sheriff's Office had requested assistance in taking Pearson into custody after an incident September 24th. At that time, deputies responded to an altercation where a man was reportedly assaulted with a knife in the Salem area of Morganton. The man who was assaulted had serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Pearson was incarcerated in the Burke County Jail in Morganton under $300,000 secured bond. He remained in jail under that same bond amount as of earlier today. A district court date is scheduled for November 3rd. Reporting from Burke County for WHKY News, I'm Rob Eastwood.